Hey guys, it's Allison here. And just a follow up to my video yesterday, maybe Monday, um, using the Distress Resist Spray. So this is a Distress Resist Spray, uh, it's from Ranger um, by Tim Holtz. And um, I highly, highly, highly recommend watching some videos on YouTube about how to use this first, especially the ones that Tim Holtz puts out. Um, because he's got some excellent, excellent tips. So I do go into some of those in my previous video. And in that video, um, I made these two cards. So I'll put a link below so that you can see that video and all the steps that went into this, these. Um, but I did wanna do a little bit more experimenting. And so I decided to pull out some of my stencils. And this one was from a previous Simon Says Stamp kit. And I used it um, on the Peacock card and I just um, laid my stencil down, something like, doesn't matter, um, sprayed the resist spray through and then sprinkled embossing powder on it. Now, do I have the embossing? Yeah, I, I used this WOW um, Cloud 9 embossing powder. So it's it's got this like glittery sort of look to it. Uh, so the butterflies are not perfect, um, but I think you get the, the idea of it. And I did think that what I might do is, is um, lay my stencil down again and either trace out the, the butterfly or use a go over it with some ink or something like that. Um, so there's still further playing to be done with that. For this one, um, I hadn't cut into the gold cardstock that was in the kit. Now this is the June 2018 card kit from Simon Says Stamp that um, I've been working my way through. Um, so I thought it might be kind of fun to um, see how it looks on the gold. And I took this stencil, not that you can tell, um, and liberally sprayed it. So first note I would say is there was too much. I had too much resist spray on it. Um, it just went underneath the stencil and I got this kind of big old mess. But I thought I would just kind of go with it and I, I sprinkled it all over with the embossing powder and then took my heat gun to it. It took a long time to emboss because there was so much resist spray and therefore so much embossing powder on it. Um, so you can clearly see that the pattern of the stencil is not there, but it's got kind of a fun look and texture to it. Um, so I think I'm gonna probably turn this into a Christmas card, because why not? Um, but yeah, so that's, that's a good example of experimenting and kind of failing. Um, yeah, so then I decided to give it one more shot and you, you're not, you're probably not gonna be able to see this. Um, I took the butterfly, this, this butterfly stencil, just put it on this scrap of white cardstock that I had and sprayed through it with the resist spray. I didn't do anything else to it. I didn't put embossing powder on it or anything like that. I just let it dry. So I will, th this will need inks to bring out that, um, the pattern and the texture. And then I decided, what the heck, let's just see what it looks like plain. Um, and I just sprayed this other piece of gold cardstock with the resist spray and also put some droplets on. So again, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick that up, but there is a very fine um, layer of like little speckly bits and it's definitely got texture. This is no longer smooth cardstock. And then there, the, there are these larger drops that are almost like you've dropped glue or something like that because they have dried very clear. Uh, so it gives kind of a fun texture. Now with the gold, I'm not sure if um, adding, you know, paints and, and um, inks and things on top of that is gonna do anything. Um, it might be kind of fun to die cut this or even use my um, embossing folders or something. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. I'll have to think about that. But for today, I thought I would just make one quick card because I kind of missed my card yesterday. I, I don't exactly know what happened. I just was kind of an off day. 
but I think I will use what's in my kit and this scrap piece and put a quick card together for you. So let me just put these things away and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to use my two Distress Inks today and hopefully I can get them blended so that I can get a purple. Because there's quite a bit of purple in these patterned papers. Uh, so before I pick a background, um, I will work on um, this. But th those are just the ones I have left. Okay, so I'm going to start with my blue. swap my foam applicator for a red one I'm just going to go back and forth until I can sort of get the color that I want, I think. I'd really like this to be purple here in the middle. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to achieve that or not. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Especially my hands. <laughs> kind of got ink all over my hands. All right. Before I get ink all over my pattern papers, get those, get that cleaned off my hands. So let's see. Out of the backgrounds I have left, let's see what will work. I think that is too similar in style, so I'm going to reject that one. I don't think the red is working with this paper. So I'm going to reject that one. This part of the paper could work. I'm just not sure about the hot air balloon, but I could maybe do something like that where I cut a strip of the butterflies that would actually cover the hot air balloon. So that's in contention. That might work as well because I've got some of the same color tones and I could have it with a floral and the butterflies. Okay, so I'll keep that one in contention as well. That one, the, the pinks in here, I think are fighting. So that's out. And that one I can tell right now, it's it's out. Because there's there's too much busyness going on with that one. Okay. So I'm going to trim this and then I'll get a better idea of how it's going to look with my papers. And I'm not picking any particular um, size to trim it to. I'm just, just basically giving it a straight edge. And now I am going to... Uh, just rub my ink over that edge that I just cut just to make it more consistent with the rest of the, the inked image. Okay, so let's see which one works best now. So we could have butterflies with the floral. It's not bad. I almost feel like I need some sort of border. Or we could be kind of sacrilegious and cover that hot air balloon. But then that does leave us some space for a sentiment or something else. So yeah, I think that's my winner. 
So, sorry, I know that there's a beautiful hot air balloon. Um, but it's just not really going to work for me today. Now, let's make sure this is short enough. So I wanted it to be just a little bit shorter than um, this paper that I just cut. So again, I'm just going to ink that edge that I cut. That way, I might have to cut off a little bit more. I just get a little frame. Yeah, I think I'll cut off just a little bit more of it. Okay, let's get some adhesive on all these pieces. I gotta figure out my sentiment. I'm getting ink on the back of these papers, so I gotta be careful where I put them down. I don't get ink on the front of the papers. But I definitely don't want the, want the ink. I'm just going to... Clearly there's ink somewhere that I'm not seeing, so I'll just give it a quick wipe and then dry it. And I need a card base. I've always... I, I pre-cut and score my card bases so that I've always got... Um, Quite a few of them sitting there waiting for me I can just grab them and go because typically I will make cards with white card bases every now and then I will have a colored card base but um, that is definitely more the exception than the rule oh I didn't cut that very well did I what happened there sure what measurement I was using before but it was clearly the wrong one all right so yes this is a beautiful watercolored hot air balloon that I am going to completely cover so sorry about that I'm sure somebody went to a lot of trouble painting that designing it all the rest of it Okay, so now I need a sentiment and I think I might go back to a kit from, oh, was it last month or the month before? I think it was the month before. This um, stamp set. I like this one. You make me feel I can fly. And I need something to stamp it onto. Am I just going to do a white or am I going to use one of my scraps here? What do I have? So that's out. In fact, all of these might be no. Ooh, what about this one? That's pretty. That's a possibility. 
gray. Don't mind the gray. I could of course use the same purple, but I think I will leave that. We're gonna do it on the white and see if I can trim it in such a way to get it on to have a frame of the gray. This gray might be a little bit too narrow. Do I have any more gray? I think I have used up all of my gray cardstock. Yes. Okay. That was from the kit. So what I might need to do is reverse that, put it on the gray, and then. Um, have a frame of the white. So my next order of business is to pick an ink color and find a, a block. Um, I wonder if I want to bring out that purple again. I showed you these containers in another video. This is where I have been keeping my ink, and that is the purple that I have found um, coordinates quite well with this kit. I think, I think it was from the March kit. Excuse my head. I'm going to make sure this lines up and fits on my gray cardstock. All right. should see my craft room right now it is so cluttered and messy I like half finished projects everywhere and because I made that uh, box to spray with I have that in the middle of my space now which I really don't have the room for but it's there anyways I've got to spend some time tidying my space It's not straight at all. Let's try that again. Could be that my paper's not cut straight, but I think it had more to do with my super precise eyeballing method. is going to need some sort of bling. And this needs to get popped up. put pop dots on that but I'm sort of out and the uh, the dollar store where I normally get my super cheap large pack of foam squares from was out the last time I was there so and I haven't had a chance to go back this week um, and see if they're, if they're back in stock okay so now we need something to make this a little bit more exciting um, I could go with some silver Nuevo crystals, or I could look for some bling. Let's 
bring out my giant box of bling. I could, I've used those on a card with this kit and they worked quite well. What else do I have? Rows of multicolored jewels. I don't think that's really the look I'm going for. In here, I have some purple. Let's take a look. Some of these are way too big, but some of these smaller ones I think could work quite well. So let's look at filling in the centers of some of these butterflies perhaps. What about some white ones, sort of, not white ones, clear ones, not really attached to a butterfly, more there for decoration. Oh, I don't like that. Look here. Nope, I don't like those big ones. feel like I need a few more though. One, two, three, four, five, six. I really like to have odd numbers of things. sure where to put this other one. What I need are some little single purple ones. That's what I need. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to call it at that. Okay, so there we go. One more card made with the June 2018 card kit from Simon Says Stamp. This is the ninth card I have made, so if I can make one more, then I have completed my own personal mandate to make ten from each card kit, and it'll still leave me plenty of um, product left over. Before I go guys, I wanted to tell you about um, a super exciting video series coming up that I'm going to be participating in. Uh, it is the summer scrapping videos. So 21 days of summer scrapping videos and um, I will put a link down below my video of where you can find this. It starts um, Sunday. Yes, June 17th. 
and I will be participating on Monday, June 18th. So you can look for my video there. We are going to be creating layouts um, with a summer theme. So I have no idea what I'm going to scrapbook yet. <laughs> could be kind of fun. Could be kind of scary. So uh, yeah, but come back on um, Monday, June 18th and come to my channel and see my video and there will be links um, to the other. There's going to be at least two other videos on that day. So I'm super excited to be participating in this. Hope you will join us. Thanks guys. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.